Child actors you won't recognize today. Hey guys, today's video is going to be an interesting one that is focused on child actors we once knew. The transition from being a child star to an adult actor or actress can be quite difficult. Most of them can't stand the pressure and end up leaving the entertainment business entirely, or they just take an extensive break at the very least. However, there are still those ones that have been able to achieve longevity in Hollywood. All in all, we have compiled a list of some of them and you won't be able to recognize them today. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Let's get it going. David Chase Do you remember the young actress that played the iconic role of the sinister young girl Samara in the 2002 horror movie The Ring? David Chase is virtually unrecognizable today. Even if you are trying to compare her to her character in Donnie Darko, the difference still remains staggering. Now a talented voice actress, this transformed child star doesn't necessarily have to step in front of the camera in order to take a role. She was the voice of Lilo from Disney's Lilo and Stitch, hey! as well as Chihiro in the English version of one of Hayao Miyazaki's most celebrated works, Spirited Away. David Chase has however managed to stay out of the spotlight despite taking on some other iconic roles. Today she tackles more indie projects in her mid-twenties, sharing very little resemblance when compared to her former or horror roles. She also appears in movies every now and again and spends time singing, voicing cartoons, and riding horses. Miko Hughes This is another horror child star. He was known for appearing in films that were absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Miko Hughes is best remembered for his parts in horror flicks like Pet Cemetery and Wes Craven's New Nightmare. He also appeared in mid to late 90s movies such as Apollo 13 and Mercury Rising. Miko was much less consumed by the film industry. Hughes later began to pursue a career as a DJ, going by the name DJ Cubed. He managed to blend the two careers together and made another appearance, such as the uncredited role in Tropic Thunder. Today, Miko has gotten back into the acting game with starring roles in upcoming indie pictures like The Untold Story. But still, no matter how you see him, it is very clear that he doesn't look anything like the Miko Hughes we all remember from the 90s. Ivana Baquero This Spanish actress, Ivana Baquero, got her big break in the form of Guillermo del Toro's modern classic Pan's Labyrinth, in which she gracefully portrayed the main character, Ophelia. The role was reportedly intended to be played by another girl who was eight years old at the time, but Ivana, who was just a few years older, ended up getting the role due to her excellent audition. You probably would not be able to recognize this former child star, even from her starring role as Eretria in MTV's ongoing sci-fi series, The Shannara Chronicles. The series has since relocated to Spike, because the young actress has changed quite a lot since then. Now working primarily in foreign movies, Ivana has managed to stay out of the spotlight stateside, making her jaw-dropping transformation feel all the more surprising. Taj Maori Best remembered for starring as a boy genius, TJ Henderson, on the WB's hit comedy Smart Guy, Taj Maori has continued to stay very busy in Hollywood over the years. However, the young actor is now looking somewhat different than you might recall. After seeing Maori co-star in the ABC Family, recently rebranded to Freeform, series Baby Daddy, Audiences are well aware that this former child star is all grown up now, that is, if they still recognized him. The former child star might not have undergone quite as drastic a transformation as others on this list have, but given Maori's talents in the field of voice acting, he has managed to stay behind the camera enough over the last few years to truly surprise audiences with his new look. Mackenzie Rosman Mackenzie Rosman grew up in front of television audiences for 11 whole seasons as the adorable Ruthie Camden on the popular drama Seventh Heaven. Having ended in 2007, Rosman was still a teen the last time we saw her portraying the youngest daughter of the Camden family. The former child star currently is working in Hollywood, mostly pursuing indie movies and short films. She had a recurring role on the hit young adult drama Secret Life of the American Teenager. In spite of this, the young actress has been looking quite different than we remember, especially to those of us who did not see Seventh Heaven all the way through to its finale in 2007. Breaking out from the mold of a child star, Rosman even posed for a not-so-reverent Camden-approved photo shoot with Maxime a couple years back, further illustrating that she's not the little Ruthie Camden anymore. 
Jonathan Lipnicki. According to fans, there is arguably no child star more adorable than Jonathan Lipnicki, at least not yet. His memorable roles in films like Jerry Maguire and Stuart Little are still referenced to this day, but you might just be surprised to see how much he has changed over the years. Like many of his fellow former child stars, Lipnicki took a break from acting after enjoying years of success. That said, the actor did not stay away for long as he continuously returned to guest star in television shows like Family Guy and Monk, and now is heavily pursuing countless indie projects. No matter the work, the fact remains that Lipnicki is almost unrecognizable today. He has certainly come a long, long way since his roles in films like The Little Vampire and Like Mike, but what has arguably changed most over the years is this actor's appearance. Abigail Breslin In the year 2002, Abigail Breslin received her first acting credit as the young Bo Ness in M. Night Shyamalan's sci-fi hit Signs. But it was not until after her Academy Award-nominated performance in Little Miss Sunshine that this young star was on the radar as a child actress to look out for. Breslin continued to star in major motion pictures like Nim's Island and Zombieland, but it was not until more recently that the former child star began her unbelievable transformation. After starring opposite Emma Roberts and Jamie Lee Curtis in the first season of the horror comedy series Scream Queens, it became quite apparent that Breslin has become rather unrecognizable since her breakout performance as Little Olive Hoover in the aforementioned Best Picture nominee. Jaleel White for nine long years, Jaleel White made audiences laugh as the goofy, suspenders-wearing Steve Urkel on the hit sitcom Family Matters. His wacky sense of style, along with his quotable catchphrase, Hi, y'all. Both became iconic and are still remembered fondly and referenced today. More resembling his super smooth alter ego, Stefan Urkel, White has grown up looking much different than the wacky actor audiences might remember. With guest appearances in countless popular television series such as House, NCIS, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, Drunk History, Psych, and Atlanta, just to name a few, this former child star has more than a few opportunities to show off his all grown up look. White has been a lot busier than most on this list, but seeing as how much work consists of guest starring roles on popular television programs, you would most likely be forgiven for not knowing that Steve wound up looking much different than you would expect. Anna Sophia Robb As one of the most active and youngest actresses on our list, Anna Sophia Robb has grown up right in front of the movie-going and television audiences. Despite this, those not paying close attention to the cast lists might not realize that this child star looks quite different in comparison to some of her early your roles. After receiving her big break in Tim Burton's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory back in the year 2005, the young star made the most of the opportunity and went on to star in major films such as Bridge to Terabithia, Race to Witch Mountain, and most notably, Soul Surfer. More recently, Rob looked much different playing a much younger Carrie Bradshaw for the two seasons in the Sex and the City prequel series, The Carrie Diaries. Josh Peck most fans of the hit Nickelodeon sitcom Drake and Josh are well aware of star Josh Peck's incredible and unbelievable transformation. That said, his altered appearance from his early child star roles to present day is certainly impressive nonetheless, especially when in comparison to his former co-star Drake Bell, who pretty much looks exactly the same as he always has. Audiences started to take notice of Peck's new look in Drake and Josh's later seasons, and the show even took the opportunity to make references to his metamorphosis on more than one occasion. Peck's new look was more recently on full display as the former child star worked opposite Paget Brewster and John Samos in the Fox comedy Grandfathered, which only aired for one season. The newly married former child star has a few more projects coming up in the near future, and continues his voice acting efforts in the ongoing Nickelodeon animated series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Tanya Raymond Tanya Raymond got her big break as Malcolm's classmate Cynthia Sanders on the popular sitcom Malcolm in the Middle back in the year 2001. However, if you have not kept up with this actress since then, you would most likely be absolutely shocked to see what she looks like today. As Brittany Gold on the Billy Bob Thornton-led legal drama Goliath, as seen on Amazon, Raymond is basically unrecognizable. This is not the first time audiences have had the opportunity to see the former child actress all grown up, as she has made guest appearances in countless popular television series, Chicago Fire, Hawaii Five-0, 90210, Switched at Birth, CSI Crime Scene 
investigation and the Big Bang Theory, among others. In addition to that, Raymond has appeared on the big screen as well, in features such as Texas Chainsaw 3D and 2016's Dirty Lies. Anthony Michael Hall Typecasted as the very lovable nerd, Anthony Michael Hall starred in some of the mid-80s most memorable films, National Lampoon's Vacation, The Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, and Weird Science. In addition to his various stints on Saturday Night Live, Hall cemented himself as another one of the industry's best young talents. Unlike many former child stars, Anthony Michael Hall has enjoyed longevity in the industry, but is looking vastly different than you may remember from him back in the 80s. Most recently appearing alongside Brad Pitt in Netflix's major-length satire War Machine, Hall almost appeared to be an entirely different person for those who may have not been following his career that closely. Needless to say, this actor no longer resembles the charming yet troubled Brian Johnson we remember and love from The Breakfast Club. Taylor Momsen If only the residents of Whoville could see her right now. I don't think they would be able to recognize her. Taylor Momsen, who once starred as Cindy Lou Who opposite Jim Carrey in the live-action feature-length adaptation of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, has been looking remarkably different nowadays. As the current lead woman of the American rock band The Pretty Reckless, Momsen has embraced a much darker style than we have been used to seeing from this former child star. After the actress's recurring role as Jenny Humphrey on the long-running CW drama Gossip Girl, the entertainer took a break from acting to work on her music and is still yet to return. Her band, The Pretty Reckless, has enjoyed commercial success since after the release of their second studio album, Going to Hell, 2014, on the back of their hit single, Heaven Knows. Cole Sprouse Cole Sprouse, who is largely known for his work alongside his twin brother Dylan, starred in the hit Disney Channel sitcoms The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and its respective follow-up, The Sweet Life on Deck, where they were a little older but still recognizable. Some years before that, however, the two portrayed Julian Frankenstein McGrath in the Adam Sandler comedy Big Daddy. Even more years before that, the brothers shared the role of Patrick Kelly on the ABC hit series Grace Under Fire, a role they began from the time they were just six months old. Quite young, right? Following the successful run of The Sweet Life's two series, as well as its TV movie, The Sweet Life Movie, both Dylan and Cole decided to take a brief hiatus from acting in order to pursue degrees at NYU. After having graduated with honors, Cole returned to television to portray Jughead in the CW's addictive drama Riverdale, where he continues to catch eyes of most of the female population. I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it. It really works. Alexa Vega Kids who grew up in the 90s might remember Alexa Vega as the fearless Carmen Cortez from the Spy Kids franchise. I know I do, but you likely would not recognize her on the screen today. Alexa is probably best remembered for her role in the incredibly successful Spy Kids series, but the actress has actually been very hard at work in the industry for nearly a decade before in various projects, both on the big screen as well as the television. In more recent years, the former child star has been looking like an entirely different person in comparison. Audiences might have recently spotted Alexa Vega in Robert Rodriguez's Machete Kills or as her recurring character Kylie Brenner on the CMT music drama Nashville, and it's likely that you didn't make the Spy Kids connection given the actress's stunning transformation. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. Which of these child stars do you think is really unrecognizable today? Make sure to let us know your picks in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.